The elephant had left the forest and wandered into a nearby village in search of food. As she walked on the streets, she was offered pineapple filled with firecrackers by locals. Such explosive allegedly used as a snare to catch wild boars. She trusted everyone. When the elephant bit into the fruit stuffed with firecrackers, the fruit exploded in her mouth, caused extreme injuries in her mouth. Her upper and lower jaws as well as tongue were badly injured. The elephant walked around in the village, in pain and in hunger. She was unable to eat anything because of her injuries. She did not harm a single human being, even when she walked in pain. She did not damage a single home. She was a good animal. Unable to bear the pain, the elephant eventually walked up to the river and stood there with trunk and mouth buried inside the water to seek relief for her pain and keep flies away from her wounds. Standing inside the river, the elephant silently died. She died in a standing position. Her stomach was shrunk. Forest officials managed to bring the body of the elephant, with help of two other elephants, and put it in a lorry. As part of the official procedure, her body was sent for post-mortem. The doctor who performed the post-mortem on the elephant was in tears. It was the doctor who revealed that the elephant was pregnant. The doctor said, I have so far done more than 250 post-mortems of elephants in my two decades of career. But this was the first time I could hold the fetus of the baby in my hands with lot of pain in my heart. Her wounds looked at least one week old. There was maggot infestation too. She suffered excruciating pain, but remained calm, died standing in Velier River in Kerala, 27 May 2020. After days of excruciating moments following the incident, the elephant was cremated the same day, along with its fetus. This is the most brutal forms of animals abuse. Comment below what you feel about this incident.